everyone and welcome to my channel. Today I have five new fall decor DIYs that will for sure put you in the fall spirit. Fall is right around the corner and I'm really excited to show all five projects to you today. If you guys enjoyed today's video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. Now let's go ahead and jump right into the first project. For the first project today, I'm using this tiered unfinished wood pumpkin that I picked up from Joanne Fabrics last year. It was four or $5.99 and I got it for half off of that. I started by painting the top pumpkin with my Waverly chalk paint in the color ivory and I did one coat of that paint. Then I moved on to the middle pumpkin and I painted that with the folk art chalk paint in the color hazy. This paint color is a little bit more sheer, so I did do three coats of that paint to get it all covered the way I wanted it to be. Then for my bottom pumpkin, I painted that with the folk art chalk paint in the color Vintage Mustard. And I just love the color of this. It's not too bright and it is more of like a muted pumpkin color. And then for the very top stem, I'm painting that with the folk art paint in the color Hazelnut. For what's going to be the base of my pumpkins, I'm using this scrap piece of wood that's either from Home Depot or Lowe's and it is 4 inches by 10 inches and I stained it with my Craftsmart wood stain in the color brown and I just used an old towel to apply the stain. To get my pumpkins a little bit more detail and to make them look a little bit more rustic, I used my Waverly paint in the color Hazelnut on a fluffy paintbrush and I very lightly painted that color around all of the openings in the pumpkin and I just really like the detail that I added. For this project, I'm using these fall word cutouts. These are from Hobby Lobby and they all did come in a pack together and they are in the fall section at Hobby Lobby. And I'm just painting all three of the words with my folk art chalk paint in the color Castle. Once that paint dried, I wanted them to have a little bit more detail to them. So I'm just dry brushing my Waverly paint in the color Ivory over top of all three of the words. Now it's time to attach all of my words. I'm using hot glue right on the back side of each word. And the top pumpkin, I'm putting the word grateful. The middle pumpkin, I'm gluing the word thankful on. And then for my very bottom pumpkin, I'm gluing the word blessed. I'm going to be making all of these pumpkins stand. So I'm using this block and I'm attaching it to the back bottom side of my pumpkin using some hot glue and this is just going to add some stability to my pumpkins. Then I'm placing hot glue on the bottom of all of the pumpkins and that piece of wood and I'm attaching it in the center of my 4 by 10 piece of wood. It would probably be best to use a stronger glue like E6000 but I just used the hot glue for the sake of the video. Next, I'm adding some of these fall stems. These ones are from Hobby Lobby. I really love the color of these. I have several of them and I will be using them in a lot of my projects today. I just cut the stems off and then I'm wrapping them around the very top of my pumpkin stem and then curling the ends of the wires a little bit. I had added this pine cone and some of these really tiny mini pumpkins from the pumpkin and pine cone like bundles that you can get from Dollar Tree, but I ended up not liking the pine cone so I just pulled that off. I did leave all of the little mini pumpkins on and then I added some more of these fall florals. These ones are from Hobby Lobby. I just cut a small piece off, glued it on underneath the pumpkins and then added a fall leaf at the top. And here are my standing tiered pumpkins all finished. This one turned out so good. I love everything about it and it was super easy to create. Now moving into DIY number two. For this one, I'm going to be using one of these unfinished wood pumpkins from Dollar Tree. These are so cute. And I just started by taking off the raffia bow. I'm not sure why they had a raffia bow on something that's unfinished and you're meant to like paint and stuff. I think that's kind of weird, but I just took mine off since I will not be using it. And then I started to paint all of the underneath parts of my pumpkin with that folk art chalk paint in the color Vintage Mustard. Again, I just love this color. It is the perfect like rustic-y pumpkin color. Once that was painted, and then for all of the top pieces of the pumpkin, I painted those with the Waverly chalk paint in the color ivory. Although you can probably skip this step, I'm going to be adding fabric over top of these, but I didn't know if you would be able to see through the fabric. You ended up not being able to, so I could have just skipped that step. 
The fabric I'm using is a burlap fabric. This is actually a bandana from Hobby Lobby. It was only like $1.49 and it's just the perfect amount to use for projects. I ended up cutting a piece of it down a little bit so that it would be easier to work with. And then I took a pencil and just traced over those top pieces on my pumpkin so I would know exactly where to cut out. After I had all of my shapes traced out, I then cut out all three of my shapes. And then it was time to add them to the top part of my pumpkin. I placed hot glue right on the wood piece and then placed the burlap fabric over top. And then I wanted to add some of this white cotton cord. This is from Hobby Lobby. And I just added it around all of the edges of each one of the shapes and I used hot glue to attach the cotton cord. And I did that for all three of the top shapes on my pumpkin. For this project, I'm using this thankful word cutout. This is just like the one I used in the last DIY and it did come from the same pack of words. And I'm painting this one with a Waverly chalk paint in the color ivory. And then once the paint was all dry, I then used some hot glue to attach it to the very front center of my pumpkin. Then to add some detail to the top of my pumpkin, I'm using some of these fall stems from Hobby Lobby. These are just like the ones I used in the last DIY. I'm taking the wires on these and I'm just wrapping them around the very top of my pumpkin stem. And then I decided to add a raffia bow and the raffia I'm using is from Dollar Tree. I just used several strands of it. I tied it around the top stem of the pumpkin and made a really simple bow. I then cut the really long ends off and then I used a little bit of hot glue to hold the bow into place. And then for the very last step in this DIY, I took some jute and I'm just stringing it through the hole that was already pre-drilled into the pumpkin to create my hanger. And here is my thankful pumpkin all finished. I love the traditional fall colors on this one. And again, it was just a super easy project to do. Now moving right along into DIY number three. For this one, I'm using an eight by 10 canvas from Dollar Tree. And I'm first taking a utility knife and I'm cutting around all of the outside edges of the staples along the back side of the canvas because I'm going to be removing it from its frame. You do want to make sure that you're using a sharp utility knife and being very careful when doing this so that you don't cut yourself. After I have the canvas removed, I'm then cutting the canvas down so that it's the correct size to fit on the back side of the frame without any of the canvas edges hanging over. Before I start attaching the canvas back on the frame, I wanted to stain it. And the stain that I'm using, it's actually a wood tint. It's by Folk Art and it's in the color Walnut. It's actually a little bit darker than I thought it was gonna be, but it's still a really beautiful color. Once the stain dried, then I started to hot glue my canvas on the back side of the frame. And I did flip the canvas so it has like the more ivory color facing the front of the frame. And I just went around all four edges with the hot glue and pressed the canvas on and I made sure that it was really taut so I didn't have any wrinkles on the front side. Then I'm gonna be using this pumpkin stencil. This is from Hobby Lobby and it came in a two pack but I'm just using the pumpkin for this one. And the stencil was a little bit too large so I'm just cutting off all of the little leaves and acorns since I'm not gonna be using those so that I can make my stencil a little bit smaller and it'll then fit in the center of my frame. To keep my pumpkin in place, I'm using some painter's tape around all of the edges and I also am using this so that I don't accidentally get paint onto my canvas. I always like to do this because I'm pretty clumsy and I also am covering up the stem of the pumpkin since I'll be painting that in a different color. For the actual pumpkin color, I'm using the Folk Art Chalk Paint in the color Hazy, and I just built this color up on the canvas, but I did let some of that like ivory canvas color poke through a little bit. Um, I didn't want it to be like completely covered. I wanted it to have more of like a farmhousey rustic feel. And then once that was dry, I took off the painter's tape from the stem and then I placed it around the stem, like on the pumpkin that I just painted so that I wouldn't accidentally get paint on that. And then for the stem color I'm stenciling on, it is the hazelnut from Waverly. Once everything was all dry, I then removed all of the painter's tape and the stencil from my canvas. 
For the top of my pumpkin, I thought it would be really pretty to add a pop of color and I'm using this orange and ivory buffalo check ribbon from Hobby Lobby. I created a really simple bow and then I'm also using those same fall stems from Hobby Lobby. I cut them off and then I just wrapped the wires around my finger so that they would curl up a little bit. I then used hot glue to attach each one of my little wire stems that I have here and then also the bow right in the center of those stems. And here is my painted pumpkin all finished. I love the neutral color on this with that pop of orange. It's very classic and it goes great with my farmhouse decor. Not to mention it was super easy. Now for DIY number four, for this project, this one is so easy. I'm using one of these little palettes that I picked up from a Dollar Tree and then I'm staining it with my Craftsmart wood stain in the color brown. Again, just using an old towel to apply the stain and in all the little areas that I couldn't get with my towel, I'm using a paintbrush just to get that stain in those hard to reach areas. I'm using three of these wooden pumpkin stickers that came in a pack from Hobby Lobby. I'm also using this Hello Fall saying that came from the Target Dollar Spot last year. And then also a unfinished wood cap and these come in a pack and you can get them at Michael's, Hobby Lobby, or pretty much any craft store. I started by painting the cap with the Waverly paint in the color ivory. Once that paint was dry, I then took the hazelnut color from Waverly and very lightly painted that around the grooves of the cap and also the top. Then I started placing everything together. I placed hot glue on the back side of the Hello Fall saying and placed that on the very top of my palette. And then I started to attach all three of my pumpkins. I did have them sitting on top of one another and I just used hot glue to attach them right in the center of my palette. Then for the very last step, I attached my cap to the very top center of my palette. This project is by far the easiest in today's video and I think it just turned out super cute and it's perfect to place on a tiered tray. Now going right along into the fifth and final DIY today, I'm creating a mini pumpkins and I'm gonna be using these tumbling tower blocks from Dollar Tree and to create just one pumpkin, I'm gonna be using eight of the tumbling tower blocks. I wanted my pumpkin to be white, so I'm painting all eight of my blocks with the Waverly paint in the color ivory. Once the paint was all dry, I then started attaching them with hot glue. I placed hot glue on one side of my tumbling tower blocks, and then I took another block and I turned it the opposite direction and attached it together. It's easier for you to watch than for me to explain this, but I just attach them by hot gluing them together like you can see me doing here. I did three and three for each side of my pumpkin like you can see here. It's going to be the front and back of the pumpkin. And then I also used two of the blocks for the sides of my pumpkin. So for the ones that I'm using for the side, I'm placing hot glue right along the edge of the blocks and then pressing them together with the front and back sides of my pumpkin. I hope that made sense. It's kind of hard to explain that. But once I had it all glued together, I then used my hazelnut color chalk paint from Waverly and I very lightly dry brushed this around my entire wood block pumpkin to give it more of a rustic look. For the stem of my pumpkin, I'm using a stick that I found in my yard. I just cut it down to the correct size and then I'm hot gluing it in the center of all of the blocks. And then I'm using some hot glue to attach some Spanish moss all around that stick. And then I'm also using, of course, once again, these cute little wire stems from the fall little picks that I had from Hobby Lobby and I just wrapped them around the stem. I ended up doing another pumpkin in a different color and I thought it was really cute to pair them together on one of my tiered trays. I hope that you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed, I hope that you will consider subscribing and please be sure to hit the notification bell so that you don't miss out on any of my future videos. I have lots of new fall videos coming soon. Thank you for watching.